Hey guys, it's Tammy. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me. I promised y'all a friend mail haul today and your girl has had a relapse. I don't feel well. Um, it's gone down into my back and it's just very painful. But I promised y'all a friend mail video and I'm a lady of my word so I'm going to keep with it. Um, and I know my people... My friends that sent me mail are expecting this. And I really wanted to put it out there for you. I'm on medicine. I have a mint in my mouth. So don't mind me. I'm trying to keep from coughing. Uh, especially on a video. So don't mind me. But I just wanted to do this for you all. Because I am very appreciative of what y'all have sent me. I love it. And I did want to include a little bit of uh, eBay haul that I have gotten in. Um... My kitchen is a disaster still. I'm trying to get it together, but between working and I just honestly, I don't even feel like getting out of the bed. So let's get this over with or let's get this done so y'all can enjoy what I've gotten as I enjoy it. The first thing I wanted to show you is from my friend D. Where did I just put the thing? Here it is. She knows how I am about my blue delf and um so she sent me this we knew it had a crack in it and i told her that doesn't bother me because i see beauty beyond the cracks um and i love it i've been looking for a mustard jar and she sent me one so this is a, a delf blue mustard jar or hollandaise and i love it thank you d Guys, I'm sorry if I'm not overly bubbles today. I just don't feel good. So, don't mind me. I do love my things. I love them so much. But I just, you know, I want y'all to see. D, I love it. Thanks, babe. There's that one. <clears throat> the next one I want to do is from my friend Robin. Robin sent me these. And y'all know how I am. She sent me two... Union Jack coffee mugs with my flags on them, and I do love them so much. Robin, you're the best. Thank you so much. I'm going to enjoy these. Look, they've got a flag inside. Love them. I absolutely adore them, and they will go with my Union Jack collection. Thank you, baby. Okay. The next item I have, or items... Is from my friend Barb at Going On Grumpy. Uh, Barb, no wait, D is the thrill of the thrift. Robin is it's just me, Robin. Barb is Going On Grumpy. So I'm going to show you hers next. She sent me these lovely napkins. They're blue Delft napkins. They're uh, paper napkins. But, y'all know, I will never open the package at those. And she sent me this because she knows how I feel about my turtles. That's a sea turtle. It reminds me of my Jordan. I love it. She sent me these. These are little figures that go with, like, the Dickens Village with the little dog. And then there's one there. Little trees. And then another one, a little skater with the muff. Cute. Then she sent me... Oh, this is also... Part of that. And a little car. To me, that looks like a Rolls Royce. The only one I'll ever have. <laughs> then she sent me these cute little things. The little ornaments. It's a penguin. And a reindeer. And a snowman. And Santa. 
cute. Thank you, Barb. Then, <clears throat> she sent me the snowman standing in front of the fence. That's really cute. She does, I like my little snowman. Then she sent me these. And Barb, I'm sorry, but the majority of them got broken in transit. There's a little tulip pot. And then there's the daisies. Or the lilies. My plan is to put them on my shelves once they are apple free and I've taken all the delf down in the kitchen and I've got up my apples for now but I'm not finished. So I intend on putting these on my little shelves in the kitchen. And then we've got this one. I love the little figures. I think they're really cute. But it took a lot of work to get these done. And I love them. I think they're beautiful. So I'll put those back in the box. Alright. And the next thing that I have is my friend Debbie. Deborah Cabasa. She's a sweetie. She sent me so many lovely things. <clears throat> she sent me this cute little tote, like a makeup bag. Look at the flag. The British soldier. The bus. I love it. I love it. And then she sent me this one. This blue clutch. The Nautica. It's in great condition, Debbie. I love it. It's so pretty. I will use it very happily. And then she sent me two shirts. One of them is a red, red sheer. Very pretty. Very pretty red shirt. I have to wear a cami under it. Very pretty. And then she sent me this one, which is also very, very pretty. I like the sequence on it. It's a pink one. Very fancy and sparkly. I love it, Debbie. And put those back in the bag. And she sent me a red ornament. Oop, very shiny. It'll look pretty on my Christmas tree. And then she sent me two of the blue and white balls that'll go with the other ones that I have. Very, very pretty. She sent me this gorgeous Stein Blue Delph and she sent me some jewelry. It's a beautiful gold tone with the orange centerpiece. She sent me this pretty bracelet. I think these are called lamp work beads. Very pretty. She sent me this gorgeous little heart. Because I love her as much as she loves me. She sent me this lovely one with the glass circle on the rope chain. And these lovely earrings, vintage clip-ons, 
And these spectacular pearls. Absolutely gorgeous. You're great, Debbie. Thank you, baby. Some dial in the stein. All right. Then she sent me this precious little snowman. Look at him. It says, let it snow. And he's definitely going in my snowman collection. Precious. She sent me these. They're still wrapped up with these fantastic coasters, coaster tiles with the blue delf. I don't want to unwrap them right now. Got a rubber band around them to keep them safe. And that one. And this one. And this one. Lovely. Okay. And she sent me in a little clog shoe. And she sent me this gorgeous, gorgeous little vase. There's my windmill. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. Hold on. Okay. And inside that one is a little a brooch pin. Another friend sent me a little brooch pin similar to this. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> gorgeous napkin rings blue and white beautiful beautiful napkin rings <clears throat> now Deb for the bad news a couple things did come broken but you know me I'm gonna do my best to put them back together I put the broken pieces in here so I could try to get it back together. And it's a gorgeous plate. Absolutely lovely. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I told y'all I just don't feel well. And then this piece was really broken bad, babe. And I haven't taken it out. <clears throat> I've wanted to keep all the pieces intact. So I could try my best to put it back together. But it's a beautiful pot. Ceramic pot. Of Blue Delf. But it's. It's broken pretty badly. And it really upsets me. Because she had it packaged up so nicely. And it doesn't matter. You always get something broken. It's like they know that it's supposed to be for something special. And they just don't care. They just chuck it and throw it. And it's upsetting because people spend their hard-earned money on stuff. And they think they're getting their job done. And what they're doing is they're upsetting folks. And so take your time. Somebody sent something that they really cared about. And, and they... The, the more they can unload, the more they can get to. The, the My husband worked at UPS. I know how it is. I know how it goes. He's told me. So, just be careful sending things. Because the, the postal companies really don't care. The quantity before quality. And I feel differently. Quality before quantity. So I'm going to sit these back down in here so I can show you the next things. 
The next things are from my friend Shirley. Shirley is a sweetheart. She has sent me three packages and the noise you just heard is from her. So, Shirley, but this is one. She knows I like the blue and white. This is a uh, pocket, it goes on the wall and it's just the cutest thing. It's a teacup and saucer and I just thought it was really, really cute. I love it. And she sent me this beautiful, beautiful vase to go with the blue and white. And then she sent me this lovely jar with the lid. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then she sent me this gorgeous platter. This will go very well with the one that I got uh, from Martha, the three-tiered stand. This will be a great platter to put with that. So I love that. Thanks so much, Shirley. And then, like within three days, she sent me this other package. And then this one is... A beautiful red tablecloth. Just beautiful. Look at the work in that. And she sent me four napkins that match. She knows I do a service of four. Can y'all see that? Lovely. Look at that work in that. Absolutely gorgeous. Valentine's, Christmas. Fourth of July, Labor Day, Memorial Day, whatever I want to use red for. And my kitchen is normally red because of my furniture in there. So she sent me all of those. And this next thing, I just couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Look at this, guys. She has sent me a whole set of of flatware. Look at this. These are the the dinner forks. Look at the work. Look. They're the big forks. The dinner for entree forks. And then we have the Little spoons, the grapefruit spoons. It's just unbelievable. The wee bitty baby forks, dessert forks. And the box doesn't stop. <clears throat> All of these serving pieces, serving spoons, serving fork, little baby spoon. I love this one. And we have four tablespoons. Service for six. Little butter knives, or spread, spreading knives. This is lovely. And then the ladle. Don't know exactly what this piece is for. lovely. Then, case knives. Very nice. Beautiful. I intend on using these when I use my Dorothy Thorpe dishes. And then, 
we have this more look at this the carving fork the sharpener and the carving knife unbelievable and then this more more of the case knives spectacular set awesome Shirley you're the best I, I, I want to thank each and every one of y'all for sending me these things it really means the world to me it truly does you take time out of your day you take money out of your pocket and you send me something from your heart and I feel like I get a piece of your heart with me and it means more to me than you will ever ever know I promise you all of you the friends that I have made I'm, I'm truly truly blessed by each and every one of y'all and I am thankful I am so glad that I started my YouTube channel and I can't thank anybody for that but Joan Joan Brody you're the best and thank you so much for opening up this world to me I love my friends and I love being able to be here and, and enjoying each and every one of you y'all make my day I'm sorry I'm not feeling really good but I wanted to share with y'all and now I want to share with y'all Something that I've gotten off of eBay. Something else. Let me move this. I don't want my stuff to fall. Ugh, pig, you're in the way. One of the boxes wouldn't go down. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm just going to dump it out. And then I'm going to put it back in the box. Now these are from, I think the 30s and 40s. I got a potato masher. I think if I soak these in oil, they will come back because they, they're, you know, they're old. I won't use them, but I would like to bring a little bit of luster back to them. So I think if maybe I soak them in oil, They'll come back a bit. This is a whisk, I believe. I think this is a cheese slicer, if I'm not wrong. I might be wrong. If anybody knows what these pieces are, what they're used for, let me know. And I got a whisk. That's not a whisk spatula no clue a ladle some people my grandmother had a, a pump well and they always kept the ladle there for drinking out of and then there's this which to me looks like a cake decorating spatula. A slotted spatula. The draining net. To me this looks like a, a knife sharpener. Pasta cutter. Or dough cutter. Another spatula. I'm not going to bend over and pick it up right now. Uh, a dough kneader. Or a... I was always taught not to put your hands in the hot butter because it would melt it and it would mess up your... your... dough. So I'm pretty sure this is a kneader. This is a peeler or a grater. This is the red handle one, but it's a whisk, the egg beater. And it works beautifully. I love it. And I'm going to probably display these somewhere in my kitchen. I love them. I actually got a couple more pieces coming in. Because I really wanted to get the green handled 
egg beater hand whisk or hand beater whatever so, so y'all know how I am when I get addicted to something I get it until I'm complete and that's just how I do my things and if I felt better I would show you my Dorothy Thorpe but I really don't feel like going too much longer so until next time once again I want to thank everybody for sending me these things I truly truly love them and y'all do again you mean the world to me and you just make me smile I love you all and I love all my friends and subscribers and I don't want you to feel as though you have to send me something because you don't because I love you whether you send me something or whether you do not I love you all and I'm just blessed I'm very blessed and thank you I'm gonna go I'm gonna take some more medicine and I'm gonna lay down and I'm gonna rest Today has been a do-nothing day, and I intend on making it the rest of the day a do-nothing day. So until next time, please subscribe, share, comment, and like. Peace.